Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the limits of a sequence. What happens if we continue adding more and more numbers to the sequence, and essentially a sequence has an infinite number of numbers, typically. In this case, you can see that the numbers keep on increasing. The question is, what would be the final number, so to speak, if we go all the way to the very last number in the sequence? Well, what is the last number in the sequence? Well, the last number is in the sequence is when the number n, the nth value of the sequence, becomes infinite. So, in a way, there really isn't the last number of the sequence. There's always one more after that and one more after that. But where is the sequence going? What will be that last value? What does it converge to if it just kept going the way it was? Well, in some cases, there is actually no limit. It just keeps increasing. In this case, we have an arithmetic sequence here where you can see that the next value is always six larger than the previous value and if this goes on forever for the nth value when n goes to infinity in the limit of course this goes to infinity there is no such real limit the limit is infinity for this particular sequence the way we write that mathematically is as follows the limit as n goes to infinity of that particular element in the sequence a sub n is equal to and you can see that if it keeps on increasing, then of course that will go on to infinity. And the very last one in the sequence, as n goes to infinity, will of course, that will be infinity. But in some cases, the limit goes down to zero. The limit goes down to zero if, for example, the numerator stays as a constant value and the denominator is double what it was before. So this one is 4 instead of 2, this one is 8 instead of 4, and so forth you can see that the number in the sequence gets smaller and smaller and smaller and if this keeps going forever you can see that the bottom will get larger and larger and larger and in the limit the denominator will go into infinity and 1 divided by infinity is indeed 0 so you can safely say that in this case the limit of this sequence is 0 sometimes the limit of a sequence becomes a constant or converges down to a constant here you can see that the numerator increases by 1 and so does the denominator, except the denominator started as a 2 and the numerator started as a 1. So you can see that this is 1 half, this is 2 thirds, this is 3 quarters, this is 4 fifths. And as you continue progressing with this sequence, you can see that the ratio of the numerator to the denominator becomes closer and closer and closer to the value of 1, which is a constant. And so in the limit, as you go to the nth value, as n approaches infinity, this limit will then converge to a 1. In some cases, there simply is no limit. You can go on forever, and you will not converge to a single number. The very classic cases where you keep popping back and forth between a plus 1 and a minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, and so forth, you can see that no matter how long you keep going, you can do this forever, it will never converge to a single number. So in this case, there is no such thing as a limit as you go on to infinity for the numbers in the sequence. So the four general cases you're going to get into is the limit is infinity, the limit is zero, the limit is some constant number, or there is no limit at all. And those are some of the basics as far as finding the limits of a sequence, and we'll see some examples of that as well.